Well, winter is finally here, and it's time to talk about what to do with your chicken water in the wintertime to keep it from freezing. So in the past, I typically have just used a dog food ball, a heated dog food ball. I got it from Tractor Supply. It was probably 20 or 30 bucks. Used it for the last three years, I would say, and it worked great. However, it was small, maybe fit a gallon of water. I'd have to refill it every day. It was kind of a pain in the neck. It finally crapped out, stopped working this year. Luckily, knock on wood, it really hasn't been too cold. A couple nights have been below freezing, and I've had a frozen water situation. So I was thinking about what I can do, and I found this product on Amazon. It was really cheap. It was 35 bucks. I'll show you it now. <clears throat> it's this little bucket with these watering nipples, and it's got a little hot plate on it with some four legs. But let me tell you, this thing is super cheesy. I mean, it, the legs are so flimsy. I mean, it it wobbles. It's just not very sturdy. This thing slides around. I mean, it's kind of junk. I mean, you know, what do you get for $35 Amazon junk? So I think I need to modify this thing. I've got some angle in the garage. I want to maybe weld new pieces of angle on, make it a little more strong. I like the product. It works well. This is two, oh, three gallons. So it holds significantly more water than my other one. It's just super floppy and flimsy and junk. So we're going to fix it. Stick around. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the garage. All right, so we've got it in the garage. You guys can get a better look at this thing. It's got these really tiny Allen keys. These legs are super flimsy. Like I said, it's just, it's really kind of junky. The water container sits on here and there's a lot of slop in here. You guys can see a lot of play. This thing can move all over the place. And when there's three gallons of water in here, it's like what, 24 pounds or so. It's a lot of weight for this little junky base. So I've got some angle here. One, whoa, watch out. We've got some one by one angle. Yes, it's galvanized. No, you're not really supposed to weld galvanized because it puts out fumes. But I'm going to do it anyway because I don't really care. So I'm going to cut this up. I think the plan is going to be to cut, cut these into sections, weld them together, make a little tray for this thing to sit in, and then I'll weld some legs onto it. And then I might even take some and turn it this way to tighten up the gap in here something like that i don't know we're going to figure it out as we go but i'm going to start cutting up some angle and we're going to get going here So to keep this thing centered on top of this base, as you can see, there's a lot of slop. I think I'm just going to take these little pieces of angle tabs, tack them on here, something like that, just to keep this thing from wobbling around. I think that'll do the trick. Ma, 
much better. for a chicken water. All right, so I'll just kind of sink this into the dirt. I thought about putting some cross spacing across the bottom here, but I wanted to be able to sink this into the dirt. So that would prohibit that. All right, we got a good base. We got about three gallons of water in this thing. Nice. Much better, much more sturdy than that cheesy original base. Plug it in, that thing will get warm. Well guys, that's a wrap on the heated chicken water. If you're interested in this water, I'll leave a link in the description below. Like I said, I got it on Amazon. I think it's 30 or $35. The base is very cheesy, so I would suggest modifying it, kind of like I did. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, also, drop me a comment and let me know how you guys handle your frozen water situation for your chickens. And I will see you guys on the next video. Beavis, out.